Hello mate, welcome to the first uh, video of Unwinver.exe and everything uh, a series which features a voiceover and I know this sounds a bit strange because um, the previous episode is, well, nothing my voice, well, well, almost my voice is nothing in the previous video. Okay, so now we're taking a look at the Windows 2002. Um, this uh, Unwinver or this uh, Windows mod is specifically uh, made by the Rectifiers or Rectify Win Discord server. Well, this is uh, solely developed by Vista Delta, or as we know previously in some video, uh, as Cat Girl Pinky slash Windows 11. And this uh, perfectly aimed to um, restore the look of what you want to call the candy theme from the leaked Windows XP Service Pack 1 source code and implement it into the Windows quote unquote XP. And in this uh, exact Windows mod is uh, uh, to picture how or, or what will happen if Neptune and Odyssey never combine into X3 and it's still split it as the professional and prof professional slash business uh, part and the consumer part and this is the Windows 2002 is specifically the professional slash business part and um, this is some kind of the picture okay so be sure to join this discord server the link will be in the description of this video okay so let's power on this virtual machine okay uh, this is some kind of error because I just use uh, this for other virtual machine okay this starting press and get to boot and now well from the first glance uh, or at this setup it doesn't look that different from the 16 because uh, this is this assembly and uh, apart from the string of the Windows version, it doesn't change that much. And uh, the Rectify Windows server also developed uh, from the most popularity. Uh, uh, let me just give it a few seconds. Uh, let's see. Setting the partition, enter. Okay. Uh, the Rectify Win Windows. Uh, Rectify Win Discord server also developed some of the more popular version of uh, Unmover slash Windows mod, such as Rectify 11, and uh, this is the other counterpart of uh, Windows 2002, also known as Messi, and the now released uh, mod of Windows Vista called Vista Delta, which we will showcase in the next episode or in the next video of this Unwinverse series. Okay, so it is now copied, and uh, as I, as far as I know, this project is mostly most of the project from Rectify Win is solely developed by Vista Delta, such as the um, Windows 2002, Windows Messi. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me in the comment. Uh, the Vista Delta, as far as I know, is uh, solely developed by Vista Delta, but I don't know, maybe, uh, if, well, for Vista Delta, we'll take a look in the next episode, so we're just focusing on the Windows 2002. Okay, so, uh, the Windows Messi, as, uh, I explained, or, or as I showcased in the previous episode, is focusing on what will happen if the, uh, consumer version is still based from uh, Neptune and uh, both of uh, the version, the quote-unquote version of Windows is based from Windows NT because the Windows 9X is some kind of bummer because it is so unstable and so like buggy if you want to know the familiar version of it and this is probably what gonna happen and it is so awesome that um, some people made this specific quote-unquote uh, version Windows to picture to help us, uh, as we know, to create a different timeline of how Windows will happen aside from being combined or slash merged into XP, and 
this is it. Well, no, this isn't actually. This is still using the setup. And I'll probably look for a while. I'll see you later. Okay, the setup just finished. So, loading information file after waiting for at about three minutes or five minutes. Okay, it's restarting. Uh, no, no, I don't want to boot from CD. Well, it just like okay, the branding change will to make similar to this ME just because it's Windows 2002. Okay, so. The mid setup, uh, as far as I uh, know, or as far as I partially know, is this just based from the beta version of Windows XP called Windows Whistler? And I think this the beta tool is uh, kind of um, like. The version between 22, uh, 22 to 3 to 2296. If I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the description of this video. And this is just one of the nice implementation. And yeah, and I'll get to you later whenever the OBE or something will happen. Okay, so this thing just turned on again. Okay, there is no OB, so it got straight into the desktop. And I should get it to full screen. Find your personal setting, it's still taking a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this. Okay, so this apparently the desktop because. I know this virtualization kind of thingy, and I still, well, I gotta make it, oh no, okay, so I have to install VMware tools in order to get this sorted, I guess, okay, VMware tools for installation, and at first glance, this is just Windows 2000 with a little bit of twist, but you may know what things that hidden in this Unwinver later on after I installed VMware tools, and who knows, there will be some problem when installing VMware tools, and I hope it doesn't. Okay, so the VMware tools is finished, and it asks to restart the thingy. Okay, I'm gonna put my headset first to uh, block the audio thing in the speaker. Yes, please restart. Okay, I'm gonna get this exclusive mode first because it restarts again. Presenting get to from CD? No thanks. You've already asked this all time. Okay, the branding seems to um, uh, succeeding the Windows 2000, and it's still at 400, uh, 640 by 480, and that's still terrible. Okay. Uh, we gotta get this. Thank God to VMware tools. Okay, now it's in full screen. Let's go check out the Winver. Okay, this is Windows 2002 based from Windows XP Service Pack 3. And yeah, it, 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 it is Windows XP Service Pack 3 packed with um, themes. Okay, let's go to the start menu first. And this is the star menu that it's the XP with the classic theme slapped into the 
star menu and this is actually pretty good and the XP things well with icons that are most of the icons are taken from Windows 2000 makes this so much ma so much really good and uh, let's take a look at some software shall we at first okay we got a uh, Okay, the listing is Windows XP, and we're gonna take a look at some software. Okay, we go to control panel first because uh, this is the thing that we usually do to customize. And uh, control panel open. Okay, we got properties open, and we get some games perhaps. Okay, 3D pinball, the classic one is classic Windows. Games bundled. Thanks to Diploma for porting this. Okay, we got this sorted. And um, files and settings transfer wizard. Okay. So, uh, as told by the developer, which is a Vista Delta, that this theme of Windows 2002 is heavily based from the leaked version of uh, Candy theme from. Windows XP Service Pack 1 source code and this is uh, maybe some things that are changed and something that kept such as the start button which if you look at the candy version it does uh, resemble with the star uh, star text hidden and this is actually pretty awesome and I, I'm so stunned into this okay let's take a look at it as we know, this some um, wallpaper actually come from Windows, and some of some of the yeah. Okay, we take a look at the background, and okay, we got cancel first, and this some new background called lines professional. Okay, and uh, red right, windows steel tile floor. This is some new wallpaper bundled in. And uh, Vortex Space is still on, which lies still Windows 2002. This is one of the bundled, and that's pretty cool. And the last one is Winter Scenery Art, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, we take a look at the background, oh, the background, but the screensaver Windows 2000 Professional, that's pretty cool. We got some of the 3D flying object, uh, it is one of them. Okay, this is the Windows logo as we saw in the 9x version and I know why it's uh, it is so fast because this uh, the price uh, is so far way faster than it was from the version that it was meant to be run on and some screensaver okay this fog on your desk is supposedly just blur the whole thing okay I think it's from uh, Windows uh, not Windows but Microsoft Plus because some of the background are uh, actually like this that came from Microsoft Plus and yeah you know the classic marquee mystified Starfield or Beza correct me if I'm wrong the spelling is is still from the previous version of Windows 3d text 3d pipes 3d flower box okay the appearance is this Windows 2002 style and it has some like the green version okay I <laughs> well I, I found a bug now I found a bug where uh, okay let's restore this to blue first I found a bug where this <laughs> it, it shows the text and I know this is still milestone one so this is kind of buggy okay we go to the red theme and it shows red things and well while the selected the uh, is still blue but most of the interface are red so it, it, it okay it is well it is well in full color scheme but Okay, the yellow one couldn't be applied. I don't know why. So the developer put this as a note for the Milestone 2 version of Windows 2002. Uh, okay, let's go for installing some software, shall we? 
Okay, so I couldn't found the game, so we could just play some game like 3D Pinball Space Cadet. And yeah. So we just take a look at some software because this Windows 2002 has so many potential put into, so it is not fair that we don't showcase so many software that are in here. And uh, we can go for uh, calculator. This is a classic one. Okay, so the interface like this, the um, yeah, like this is just taken from straight from Whistler. But the window and the taskbar is taken from the candy version of Windows. Called yeah, as you know, I stuck at speaking. So still. Okay, Solitaire, it is from Windows 2002, okay let's move this, yada yada yada, 7, 6, 5, yada, like this, and put into like this, <laughs> okay, KJ, put it like this, Just, uh, okay, that's enough, I think, okay, let's take a look at some other software in the accessibility code on screen keyboard. Okay, okay, uh, this, the Windows logo is still like this, it's taken from the 9x version of Windows, and we go to my computer, Ooh, okay, the icon is from Windows 2000-ish, okay, we go to, I know a shortcut to say, like, to look for most of the icons, go to Winver, Properties, change icon, different file. Okay, the shell 32.dll, and this is Windows 2000 ish icons. So the developer slash no Vista Delta did a pretty good job at. Okay, even if uh, still some of the icons that are Windows XP, -ish, but most of the things are Windows 2000 and. That is still a good thing, and I am so amazed by. Well, I know this is still an a thing, but okay, oh, we just got some <laughs> a 3D pinball. Yeah, I think this kind of Unwinver is focused on uh, changing the interface, so it doesn't really that bundle with so many software, but it's still pretty good. If you want your Windows XP to look like this, you can download the ISO that the link is in the Rectify Win Discord server. The link will be in the description. And also, if you want to contribute or to uh, just use, or <laughs> if you made a, an Unwinver or a Windows mod that if you want for me, to showcase something like this, you can contact me on the Discord. Uh, the link to the, my Discord server is in the description. Or if you uh, just don't have Discord, you can go by email. The email will be in the description of this video too. Okay, so uh, I've had this. Maybe this is it for Windows 2002. And I would say this is because it's an early version, so it doesn't take that much time to find some bugs, so expect to have some bugs because it's a milestone version, this is the first version, it doesn't that really stable. But if there is any update from this Unwinver, I will showcase it in the next video outside the Unwinver series. So let's shut down this version of Windows. Turn off computer, I know, I know this is such an awesome thing. Turn off the computer. This is the Whistler look. Turn off. And see you next time. Goodbye.